Hello everyone, so today we are Sunday, April 26th and um, I felt like doing a vlog because in the past days I haven't been really productive I don't know why, there's not really a reason um, but today I hope I'm more productive and I felt like filming a vlog so let's do that um, Right now I'm living with my moms for the time being with the pandemic um, and I have this new chair in my room, I really like it. Let me show you what it looks like So it looks like this and I'm I love it being in my room. I like having a place where I can work in my bedroom and I don't know why it makes me feel good So I'm gonna work here for the this morning at least um, And I just rolled my to-do list for the day I started this to-do list yesterday, so that's why um, it's yesterday's date on it, but I just continued it for today um, with what I didn't have time to finish yesterday. So there's a lot of things, so I probably won't have time to do all of it, um, but what's checked is what I did yesterday. So today, I really want to write the list of people's advice that people gave me on Instagram for thesis writing. Um, I also want to, like, it's been weeks since I've done... Um, editing my San Diego vlog but I just have like two minutes of video to film um, as a ra wrap up but yeah I really want to do that because it's been a long time I was also working on a blog post about how to do live study sessions um, but yesterday I had a zoom meeting as you can see here and it turns out um, we ran into many problems to replicate my my setup for the live stream so I'm really not sure what to do with this because I need to change my whole blog post but at the same time like issues in text are not in tech are not really predictable so I don't know what to do with this so maybe I won't do this today. Uh, it's not a priority. Um these are in French but I just mean call the drugstore and call my phone provider to activate my phone again, email my doctor and um yesterday I took some pictures for my IG my uh, my Instagram sorry and I need to put the pictures that I took on my Trello board for my Instagram that um I actually use Trello to plan all my Instagram posts and I have a blog post explaining all my method. So if you're interested in that, go to the description. Um, I will write a link to my blog post. This is for my research, so I want to read wrap up examples because we need to... I'm participating in a challenge and we need to do a wrap up um, explaining what our method is and the results and all that. So I want to read examples that they provided and start uh, working on ours because it's due very soon. I want to reply to my comments on my latest um, picture on Instagram and I, as I just said, I want to work on the step-by-step -step guide to replicate the results we got for the challenge. I also need to do that on GitHub. So that's, this one is probably my priority for today because this is really important as I have a deadline for this. So right now I will probably start with an easy task. That's always what I do to get in the momentum of getting tasks done. Um, so I will probably put my pictures on my Trello board for my Instagram. That always makes me feel good in some, some way. So I'm gonna take that to my advantage and start with this task um, and feel productive so that I can move on to other tasks afterward. For the past hour and so I just um, my computer is very slow I think I have a problem with Google Drive so for the past hours I've, I've just been um, deleting files and trying to to make storage available storage on my Mac because I don't know maybe I'm thinking I had not a lot of space left so maybe that's why but now I have 20 22 gigabytes and it's still not working so I don't know what it is now um, and right now I'm gonna eat some fried rice that I prepared yesterday. It's the recipe from Ricardo. Um, it's like a French name, so I was trying to say it in English, but that doesn't work well. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna watch a TV show on Netflix while I'm eating. It's gonna gonna probably be um, too hot to handle. I started watching this, and 
I don't really like it, but at the same time, I'm curious to know what will happen, so I cannot stop watching it. I want to know. So I'm at episode six or seven right now, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to work. It is 1 p.m. now and I finished eating. Um, I think I just took 30 minutes to do. And I'm gonna put my stuff downstairs and I'll take my, I will take my pill for ADHD and then I'll get back to work. After lunch, I changed my number on WhatsApp because I spent the winter in Maryland for my research internship and when COVID outbreak happened, I had to come back to Canada, so I changed my number and I put back my original number. I also went on toggle.com. This is a website that I use to track my time because I have progress meetings every week with my professors for my masters and if I don't keep track of what I'm doing it feels like I'm not getting anything done and I'm losing my time everywhere and I I don't remember what I worked on so for me it's really important to use toggle to remember that I actually achieve things then I reply to my comments on my Facebook page girl knows tech hello it's almost 2 p.m. right now and I've been doing some girl knows tech stuff um, since lunch um, I like like I said earlier when I talked about my to-do list right now I really need to do some research stuff and what happened with me is that I'm scared of doing it because it seems really hard and I'm like before even starting the task I feel like I'm gonna fail at it and I'm not gonna be good enough so like on the weekends it's really easier for me to just say I won't do any research today and I'll just work on Gilmo's tech stuff but that's not really good because I need to advance and I have a deadline on May 13. So I really need, and if I want to do good good work, then I need to put some time into it. So I need to stop that procrastination thing. And often the only thing I need is just to get started. So I really like a two minute trick where you only tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna do this task and for two minutes. And if I still don't wanna do it, then I'll I'll stop. At least I will have tried it and started it for two minutes and then um, if you still feel overwhelmed uh, then you can just stop it. But what happens with this is just like every time I do that and I tell myself that two minutes, uh, every time um, I get over it and I actually work on it for much more than two minutes obviously. So um, right now I wanted to do research and uh, like this setup is good, but it's not like when I'm very focused. I need like a real table and I need to be more I don't know on the desk I, f I think and So I'm gonna go to my desk. Uh, it's my mom desk actually my my desk is not gonna be here until I move officially here and For now that should be on Saturday. So I'm very excited to have my desk here at my mom's house um, It will be easier for me to work. I feel uh, but right now I'm gonna go to my mom's desk and she actually have a screen that doesn't work anymore with you know those old um, is it VGA uh, cables but uh, this morning I I found that the screen is also um, also had an HDMI um, place and I also found an HDMI cable um, yesterday so I'm gonna try to have a second screen for my uh, laptop. I hope it works and we'll see you together. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like it's the screen that's not working. Um, I thought maybe it's the cable that we were using, but even with another cable, it's still not working. It's not detecting the screen, so I guess I'll have to continue working with just my laptop. And now I lost my time a little bit on Facebook because who doesn't? 
But now is when I really started to work on my research. So right now you can see that I'm on GitHub writing about the experiments that we did in my research. So my research for my master's thesis is about Parkinson's disease. So we use a data set uh, that tracked patients of Parkinson's disease with mobile sensors from an Apple watch and like smart watch and smartphones. We have the accelerometer so measures on the movements that the patients did on uh, with their hands. So we're using this data from the sensors to predict um, the severity of the Parkinson's disease symptoms and to do that we're using a package, a Python package that's called TS Fresh uh, in combination with XGBoost and SVR. So if you're interested in learning more about that, the GitHub repo is available to the public on my account. So if you're interested in, and want to check it out or even leave a star, um, the link is in the description of the video. Then after that, I updated the PowerPoint because like I said, I have progress meetings every week. So what I do is that I have a PowerPoint that I update every week with my progress so I can show it to my co-directors and the researchers in the lab that I'm working at. And then I'm on my Trello board right now where I plan my thesis, um, so I updated my task. So what I did for that board quickly is just that after writing my outline for my thesis, I just added every section as a card and I tried to create as small tasks as possible, so very small tasks as much as I could. So I'm trying to use that to plan um, the writing stage of my thesis. I'm not 100% sure this method is working for me right now, but I'm trying to tweak it out a little bit still. And now you can see me on the website Machine Learning Mastery, It's I think it's called. I was reading about XGBoost because that's an algorithm that we're using for my research project, so I wanted to learn more about it. And while I was reading, I took some notes on my iPad. I'm using the app Notability. I just finished working out. I hate this workout, it's so hard. My hair is crazy. Um, now it's 5 p.m. so I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll um, prepare dinner. It is 10.30 p.m. now, um, I talked to some friends tonight and then I will go to bed now. Um, this leg workout is so hard, um, I'm very tired afterward. So tonight I just spent, um, I watched uh, the Canadian concert for COVID-19 on the television with my mom. I didn't film that because she doesn't like to be filmed, so I didn't. Uh, and then... Um, yeah, I talk with friends here in my bedroom. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in another vlog. Mm -hmm.